Hello Internet, Internet. Big Dave is here, and I am cheap. Sure. Hello Internet, it's Big Dave here, and I am drunk. And that's probably the reason why I'm playing Pickers from Mumbo Jumbo. So, Pickers, yeah. Pick, sell, trade, haggle, appraise. Yeah. I'm not really sure how I came into possession of this game. I think I might have got it during the Mumbo Jumbo bundle on Indie Roy Al. That must be it. But we're going to take a look at this. Pickers, you know, the craze that was sweeping the nation like two years ago. Going out to old barns and antique shops and buying stuff you then fleece people for later. Yeah, let's jump in. I did have to create a profile to get things going. We're going to go ahead and jump in here and see what the heck this thing is all about. Because I have not touched it, not a bit. Uh, yeah, we'll just stick with regular, sure. Oh, sweet van, alright. A high, realistically rendered lady. Okay, this is a top picker's challenge. Goal is to be the top picker. All right, I think I can handle that. Rusted gold van holds seven items. Yada, yada, yada. Okay. I had some places scouted for me. All right, excellent. Thank you. All right, so uh, hot categories. People are asking for hardware, signs and signals, and sports collectibles. Uh, select the first area to explore. I guess I can only explore these areas here. Uh, oh my god, all right. I like the look of that guy <laughs> and his rusted out old bus. That guy looks like he'd live in that bus. He does. All right, or uh, right, we can go visit uh, young Sean Connery at his antique store. Um, yeah, I think this guy looks infinitely more interesting, so let's head down here. Oh my goodness, yeah. All right. Uh, we got the tutorial stuff gonna gonna be popping up there because it's the first time we played. But uh, let's see, so it's just po pointing and clicking kind of thing. All right, so uh, we can look. What are we looking for again? Hardware signs and signals, sports collectibles. All right, let's pick some garbage from this crazy old man's dilapidated bus. Uh, hmm. Uh, you pick a nine for your inventory. Yada, yada, is ready to buy. Click the guy. Click crazy, crazy old man in a cowboy hat. Uh, I have something here for you. Don't want to drag it. Okay, got it. Uh, just a weird old baseball ticket. All right, that's baseball memorabilia. Uh, that's a race car. Sure. Uh, so is this like a, a hidden object game, basically, or just a point and click? I don't. Whoa, I did I don't want that. Uh, yeah, I don't want that scooter. Is that a robot, like, that he's made out of a propane tank? I think it is. That is great. I want that. I want a muffler man. I want that muffler man. I will take him. All right, so what do we got going on here inside this hellscape of a bus? All right, a uh, gun, banjo, uh, arrowheads, uh, a box that is uh, letting off gold and dollar signs. All right. Oh my goodness, yeah, that's a... Uh, well, yeah, uh, hello? Okay, uh, they're asking for everything on this list. They're willing to pay $90 a piece. Find each object, okay, yeah, yeah. Uh, okay, so now we're playing a hidden object game. All right, all right, so we're looking for a bunch of different stuff. Uh, yeah, I don't really play hidden object games, so I have no idea how to approach this. Uh, is one of them a dream catcher? It must be. All right, we got a dream catcher. Let's see here. That's a shovel. A necklace. Ceremonial staff. Anybody looking for a quiver with arrows in it? No. A key. Is that a necklace? That is a necklace. A key. Hmm... Feast your eyes about, folks. I'm sure you're yelling at your screen right now. It's right there. Look over there. I can't hear you, but keep yelling, please, please. Remembering all along that I am uh, solidly inebriated. 
and probably not in control of all of the faculties that you are in control of right now. Tribal Shield. Is that a Tribal Shield? Sure. Why not? Uh, anybody looking for an old pulley? No? All right. Step Ladder. Yes. Let's see. Cow Skull? No. Compass? No. Cast Iron Ladle? That seems like something that should be fairly easy to see. Stethoscope? No. Slingshot. Someone was looking for Slingshot. Oh, yeah. Slingshot. Is that a cast iron? No. Oh, dynamite plunger? Anybody? Come on. That's great. And weird eagle. Oh, that's that coin I see. Yeah, okay. A key and a sapphire. There's a sapphire. Doctor's bag. Is that the... There's the stethoscope. There's the doctor's bag. That's right. And... A cast iron ladle and a key. A key. High quality entertainment here, folks. I know, I know. Uh, cast iron ladle. And. Ah. Uh, key. A key. And. A key. Um. Weird statue, bomber jacket, a key. There it is. Sneaky, sneaky key. Oh, find keys, okay. Hidden around locations, unlock, okay. So the keys are actually special. That's probably why it was hidden so well. Uh, our pulley, sure. We got a pulley right there. I own a pulley. And it is uh, hardware. Yeah, so that's pretty cool. All right. Uh, anything else of interest in this weird old bus? Let's see. Uh, keeping in mind we're looking for hardware, signs, and signals and sports collectibles. This is roulette a sport? Pretty sure it's not. Professional banjoing, is that a sport? Uh, maybe? Make, could you make a, make a, a argument for horse ridery being a sport? I think you, you probably could. Uh, that mallet seems like hardware, sure. And let's end up with a cash register? Sure. Now let's talk. Oh my god, he's holding a chicken. All right. Uh, y yeah. That is a unique character right there. I'm going to tell you that. Hmm. Uh, totally missed what I was supposed to do. Uh, yeah, uh, owner's manual. Oh, no, oh, we got a haggle. All right, so an owner's manual for a 1939 passenger car. Uh, that doesn't seem like that's worth $180. Okay, earn prestige by making deals with owners while keeping their moods in the yellow. Okay, so don't piss them off as you're going to increase the prestige of behaviors owners. Okay, so don't piss them off, basically. Uh, yeah, an old sports ticket. Baseball, National All-Stars. Uh, 1942. That seems... I'm going to go low on that. Didn't like that. All right. Uh, let's go... Let's lose five off that. There we go. All right. That's one of those deals where he goes, I'll take 135 for that. And then I offer 115, and he says, I'll take 140 for that. It's the same way that I negotiate bedtime with my kid. I'll come back and check on you in five minutes. Ten minutes. How about three minutes? Okay, five minutes. Very effective, Ray. Mint condition toy car. I'm going to offer you 65 for that, and you're going to take it and like it. Muffler man, this thing, it to me, is... Uh, I mean, I will I will actually give you more than what you're asking for that. I think that muffler man is worth a lot more than that. So I'm not going to rip you off by taking advantage. Uh, that old wooden mallet can't be worth more than 85 bucks. And a cash register, if it's $775, it better be full of money. You're going to take 675 for it. All right, cool. I like it. Sports memorabilia, hardware. Okay, that didn't count as hardware. Come on. All right. Thanks for doing business. Come again. Uh, it's a good pick. Our awesome rusted gold van is full, and we're headed back to the store. I okay. Uh, set or adjust prices of your merchandise. So you can auction them off for quick cash. All right. 
Uh, click an item to save uh, run out of shelf space. All right, buy more shelf space. All right. Uh, something down here. I don't know. Uh, let's see. Muffler man. Um, I'm definitely going to hire. I want to see what is a muffler man worth? I'm into it for 30 bucks. I know a guy who knows a lot about muffler men and, you know, that sort of rustic uh, or industrial art. So I'm going to I'm going to have him come in and appraise it for me. 105 bucks. What a deal. What a deal. Set the price. That thing is going to move. It's going to move. Price and everything to move. $675 into this cash register. I think it's worth getting someone to appraise that. Did I get ripped off? Uh, no, we made some money. Sure, sure. Although we did, we get a pretty good deal there because I, I dropped down by 100 bucks to 675 from 775 So I increased my profit margin on that. I actually would have lost money on it otherwise. Uh, old wooden mallet. Come on, come on. Uh, I don't think I need an expert for that. Let's just drop that... Five, increase that five bucks, 90 bucks. Somebody will buy that old wooden mallet. So I, no investment here. Uh, yeah, I think that bars, it, yeah, that, I, can, I can do an expert on that. $75, that thing was basically free. Uh, well, I paid $75 to an expert, but y you know, I'll break even, I guess. Old toy car. Uh, yeah, 70 bucks seems like a good price for an old toy car. And, you know, that was the, uh, everybody remembers that national all-star baseball game, East versus West, 1942. I mean, we all remember that, right? So that's got to have some value to it. $145 price tag on that one. And an owner's manual. If somebody's going to come in here looking for an owner's manual for a 1939 passenger car, and I'm going to have it. It's going to be the only place you can get it. You're not going to get that on the internet. You're not going to download that in a PDF. You're going to get it right here in my shop, and that's it. Come on. Buy this stuff, people. Yep, mallet, of course, that ticket sold. Yep, somebody knew what they were doing there. Oh, the old wooden... Oh, anything... Nobody... Oh, my God. Are you kidding me? Nobody bought my muffler man. You know, that's just... That's that's just all well and good. I would rather just keep him, and I would rather just display him proudly in my own home, because I like that muffler man. There you go, junkyard art. I bought a muffler man. Oh, I bought and sold an item in the hot category, and for that, I got a... Lava lamp. Okay. Oh yeah, there's my there's my muffler man. Love that muffler man. Okay, now the hot category is motorcycle uh, and automotive. I'm kind of getting into this game all of a sudden right here. I don't. I mean, it's probably the alcohol that's uh, making uh, that. Uh, mm. Excuse me there. Uh, probably the alcohol that is uh, making me enjoy this. But um, what the heck? Let's go back out for one more run. Then I'm gonna say goodbye to you guys and probably pass out for the evening. Uh, do we want to head to the north? Oh, my goodness. Uh, that lady intimidates me. So I'm going to go up here to, uh, yeah, I'm going to go to young Sean Connery's store and see what he's got to offer. Uh, again, looking for automobile and motorcycle. Hardware signs. Uh, that's, uh, I like that uh, owl there. Some signage here. I like that. I like that sign. I like that sign. Sure, those are, those are probably sure to sell. Uh, I can't buy the sign off your store. Uh, let's go inside. Uh, dollar signs are popping up off of this display case, so that must be another hidden object game. I will spare you guys that. We will just grab a few things here and there. That is a creepy, creepy mannequin thing. Yeah, is that is that the Slender Man? I it might be. I mean, it's casual Slender Man if it's Slender Man. Um. Oh, okay, it's a statue. It, he has a sport coat on it. Oh, a key. All right, I'll take that. He put a sport coat on a statue. All right. Uh, let's see. Motorcycle, uh, hardware, um, no more sports, so our bobblehead's not going to fly here. Automotive and motorcycle. Automotive and motorcycle. Signs, hardware. Uh, is that an ice cream machine? An old-timey ice cream machine? Sure. Um, hmm. RCA dog? Maybe not. Uh, some random electronic up there? Sure. That's That seems like hardware. Probably they'll say it's not, but, you know. And a, a, an actual traffic light. That's definitely gonna, gonna work for signals, I imagine. And let's end up with, uh, I think I gotta go for this, uh, I gotta go for Kitsch. Again, you gotta go for Kitsch. It is the, uh, weird, uh, Harlequin lamp. 
All right, so let's wheel and deal a little bit here and see what we can do. That's sign. I think you give us five bucks off that, sure. I don't know what that sound was, but it certainly meant something. All right, uh, thermometer sign. I like that. I don't like $70 like that. Uh, movie theater sign. I will give you 55 for that, my good man. Ice cream maker. I think that's got to be worth uh, 75 bucks. Oh, he don't like that. Uh, let's do uh, 80 you, you like that. Ham radio. Uh, 50 bucks. Yeah, that's set to 70 Oh, he's always oh, out. Uh, let's, uh, it's worth it to give him a uh, pretty good price, maybe, to make him happy. There we go. Get him back into the yellow for the rest of our deals. And Wow. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me with this? $645 for that. Does it even work? Does it even work, young Sean Connery? You tell me. Oh, he gave me that deal. He begrudgingly gave me that deal. <laughs> he begrudgingly... He said, I'll give you that deal, but I don't like it. All right, and finally, our kitschy lamp. Wow. Okay, uh, 375 man. He feels like he's getting fleeced. He, he apparently feels like he's getting fleeced. Okay, so uh, this didn't qualify for hardware for some reason. Uh, but yeah, I think we did well overall. Jump in the van, let's head back to the store, and I will go ahead and say good night to you fine people. This has been Pickers from Mumbo Jumbo. Surprisingly entertaining. I think I probably didn't give this game much of a chance, but it has in fact entertained me as inebriated as I might be. All right, guys, I have been Big Dave, and until next time, take it easy.